grand old partisan, celebrates more than 16 decades of Republican heroes and heroics. Today, I salute Hiram Price, born December 10th, 1814. He started as a bookkeeper in Pittsburgh before moving at age 30 to Frontier, Iowa. There he held several county level government positions and served on the Davenport City Council. Financial acumen made him a successful merchant and in 1859, president of the State Bank of Iowa. Outraged by the Kansas-Nebraska Act, this anti-slavery activist left the Democratic Party and helped establish the Iowa GOP. Outbreak of civil war caught the state's Republican administration without an immediate source of funds. Hiram Price stepped up, lending his own money to recruit and equip 5,000 volunteer troops. The governor appointed him paymaster. In 1862, Price won the first of three terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. He aligned himself with the radical wing of the Republican Party. Quote, We who are styled radicals seek to make all men equal before the law, to give all men in every state equal rights and equal protection. Receiving his vote were the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendments, as well as the Freedmen's Bureau, to assist emancipated slaves. At the 1865 State GOP Convention, he proved himself an effective advocate for civil rights. On the downside, Price voted against the purchase of Alaska. Declining another nomination, Price returned to the private sector. He headed another bank and also a railroad. In 1876, he won the first of two more terms in the U.S. House of Representatives. President James Garfield appointed him Commissioner of Indian Affairs. Back to basics for the Republican Party is my civil rights history of the GOP. To quote the book, the more we Republicans know about the history of our party, the more the Democrats will worry about the future of theirs. For more information, see grandoldpartisan.com.